Hello, everybody! This will be a two call action with my review of episode four of Outbreak Company. Okay, now this was a really good episode. This one was really good. It had a lot of stuff going on, a lot of interesting stuff, um, a lot of otaku stuff, which just made it so much better. I'm like, well, at half the time, like, they're actually saying this, they're actually talking about this. So let's get into it. Okay. This episode starts off we where uh, Shinichi runs to this room and sees uh, Mitsuro lying in the bed after she got took the dagger in the last episode for Pet Peltrica and um, the Empress. And they're like, she's gone. There's nothing we can do. And he's like, no! And half the time I'm thinking, is this going to be a dream? But it wasn't a dream. It turned out they were talking about the Empress's um, goldfish the whole time. So um, it was like, I was like, well, I'm like, they can't kill her off by, at, at the end of episode three. They can't kill her. Mishra, they can't kill her off in episode three. I couldn't, I wouldn't believe it. She became su such a good character that I, uh, no, they can't kill her off. And I'm glad they didn't. They just give us a run for her money thing. Either it's a dream and he thinks she's dead or she's dead or whatever, but it wasn't a dream or anything. It was just that um, they were talking about Petrica's goldfish. Um, then we move in to him actually as the principal of the school, and he is teaching, and he's talking about different aspects. He's after time taught the class, the language, pretty much the basic um, characters, and we get class sitting here, and we got the um, dwarves. Elves and humans, and the dwarves and the elves are really going at it. They're like insulting each other back and forth. I'm like, well, these guys really don't like each other. I'm like, really, they don't like each other. And she, she just jumps in and starts giving up classes. He's talking about things like this term. I don't even know what it is, but it's talking about the length distance between the end of a girl's skirt and the top of her knee socks. That small area of skin. And I'm like, whoa, this is fucking hardcore. And these kids, they, they look, the dwarves look like they're adults, but they're fucking kids. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh. And then he starts talking about the uh, scenario where it looks like she's not wearing underwear, but she's actually wearing underwear. And then finally, Minori steps in. She goes, we need to move on. And she starts teaching them about Yaoi, the Seme and the Uke. And I'm like, whoa! She's talking about, and they're like, why are you talking about homosexuality? She goes, no, you're going to call it BL. BL, in short for boy love. And I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Really, what the fuck? Um, yeah. Um, and then they, like, they come back and they notice that there's an intruder on the pep, on their house grounds. Sorry about that. That's my fucking land. People live above me. And, um, uh, uh, and, um, they're, um, fucking, yeah. And, um, they meet this werewolf girl, Erba, Erba, and, uh, Erbia. And she's, like, drawing the house. Turns out she's a fucking spy. For a neighboring kingdom, which is, they have hostilities towards and all that. But the best part is Shinichi's trying to defend her. He's trying to fucking defend her in front of the Empress. And she's like, and Petra goes like, It's because she has big boobs, she says. You're going out and you're defending her because she has a. Because when he first saw her, he goes, Furry! Furry! I'm like, Whoa, this guy is fucking messed up. Awesome! So, uh, He's defending her, and she's like, she, she's flashing, she, she's flashing, but no, he goes, no, no, she's flashing, so they finally bring her out, and they, and she goes, and Petra goes, like, okay, if she's flat-chested, what is M Misra and I? And basically, it's because they have smaller tits, they have fucking smaller tits, and I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck? Um, again, but, in the end, they decide to use her to feed the nation false information. But during this process, Minori does the greatest thing. 
she's talking about Shinichi and one of uh, the head knight uh, Petrus being a yaoi couple. And Petrus and Miso's like, what's this? And then she starts whispering in her ear, ear and I can't, and her face starts to change, and I'm like, whoa. I can't tell if Miso's like going, god damn, that's disgusting, or like, I really want to see that. I couldn't tell. It was either way, but, whoa. So this was a great episode. It had many, many things like I talked about going on. The yaoi, the hardcore shit, the stuff they're teaching the kids, the introduction of a new character. Um, um, more proof that Shinichi is a total fucking pervert. All this stuff, I loved it. I just loved it. So you really have, if you haven't been watching the series, you fucking have to. You fucking have to. So, this is the old boy 82 saying, if you like this video, please click like. If you want to see more, please subscribe! The old boy 82 saying, out!